All right, what I'm going to do in this demo, basically, is show you how to load your post-processing files. One of the problems with 10.5 is it doesn't come with my laser files. The ones before that did. I'm not sure why they chose not to include the lasers for the CNC Shark this time, but they did. The shark, whole Shark line, the laser section's gone. Uh, it's not that hard to add. You just got to contact or go to Next Wave and, and get it. So I had copied those files from Next Wave and the Next Wave laser files and inch and metric are right there in front of you. I recorded this and for some reason the volume or the microphone didn't work the way it should. So what I'm doing is uh, actually showing you how to or narr narrating what I did before. Unfortunately, I'm not as long-winded today as I was then. So you go back to your, you open your 10, you notice this is 10.5.9, and you look for an application folder. And you see it's not anywhere I'm pointing right now. It's all the way down to there. So you open that, and when you open your application folder, you're going to find that it has post-processing files in it. See them right there? And there's two of them. There's post-processing and my post-processing. We're going to do post-processing first, and we're simply going to now paste those two files in here. So you just right-click and hit paste, and they pop in the bottom. Uh, next, what I'm going to do is also copy those files into the post my process, processing or my post processing processing file easy for somebody to say apparently not me today so you simply paste it there and what happens is instead of looking through that long list when you do, go to your tool path and do the save uh, it automatically goes to my, my post processing file if there's files in it so now what I'm going to do is copy over the rest of the files that I use and that would be CNC Shark, Laser, and Metric. And it's right. I'm also going to get the one for the rotary because now I have a, um, a lathe, CNC lathe from, uh, or the fourth axis as it's also called. So I'm going to grab those as well. Not all that stuff, just the metric. CNC Shark USB Arch and Metric, and then I'm gonna. I apparently grabbed the Y's and put it in there. I should have grabbed the X's. Actually, I should have grabbed both X's and Y's. But currently, I'm only using the X axis. Uh, so I've got one machine that I've got set up just to do that. So I should have grabbed the X's, and I think I end up grabbing the Y's here. But it doesn't matter. You grab the ones you need, and then you copy them which you can do with a right click or edit file copy. See them there? I've got them highlighted. So I right click, copy them, and then I move up a folder and go to my post processing file, do a right click again and paste them. Uh, the beauty of that, like I said, is now I don't have to search through a bunch of files. I've only got these two, four, six files to look through to select that one I want. That way I won't err as much, hopefully, and pick the wrong machine. <laughs> but, you know, errors humans forgive as divine. So, and our machines are pretty forgiving. They just destroy the workpiece or the, or the tooling. But uh, they don't do any permanent damage. Thanks for watching, and have fun with your CNC, and talk to you next time. Good day.